Hi guys, it's so good to see you guys again. And this week we're going to start on the power of God. So let's first go to Excitable Eddie in Homegrown Zone. Homegrown Zone. Hi guys, Excitable Eddie here. So great to be together again. Welcome to Homegrown Zone. So we do things a bit different this time. If you've got a video of you and your favorite pet, or only pet, we want to see what you do with your pet. So send us a video to kids at vcdbn.com. All right, let's see this week's video. All right. Hello, Excitable Eddie. I have trained Nima to smell which one, which hand the treat is in. Nima. Here it is in this hand. Which hand is the treat in? She'll bite my thumb. When she wants the treat. Bye! Wow! So cool, Elizabeth! Great job! Yeah, that inspired me. Come on, boy. Come here. Come here. He doesn't really like to listen. Come here. We'll see you next time. Send us your videos. What you doing with your pet? Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I am Uchid, son of Uchid. In the year 640 BC, Josiah becomes king of Judah at the age of eight years old. In the same time, soldiering is invented of steel and horse racing is included in the Olympic Games. Yes, please. Let's go. I am Richard, son of Richard. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Hi guys, great to be together again. I hope you're well. So we're starting out on the series of the power of God. And uh, do you know that God loves to give us gifts? That he's given us a free gift and that free gift is Jesus. How amazing. I love receiving gifts. How strange is it that some people say no to the free gift that God gives us? Who does that? It doesn't make any sense, eh? I absolutely love getting gifts. And it's my birthday coming up in September as well. Just saying. But since I was super small, I wanted to get a remote control car for my birthday or for Christmas. Anyone or anytime. It was my absolute biggest dream. I dreamed about it. I imagined it. And I never got one. Sad. Well, what do we have right here? A big present. Sometimes, the bigger the better. How's a card? Free gift. I wonder who it's from. Dear child, I love you. Here is a free gift. Love your daddy, God. How amazing is that? Wow! I'm almost excited as excited lady. I wonder what's in the packet. Let's have a look. Oh, you are kidding me. What I've always wanted. <gasps> and it's a remote control car. Can you believe it? Thank you, God. Wow. It's, I think something's supposed to go in here. Wow. I always thought uh, remote control cars would be a little bit more exciting. I mean, it's really cool, but I'm starting to get a bit bored of it, eh? Let's just stick in here. There's something else in here. Oh, another present. Let's see. Whoa. It's batteries. That's what was missing. 
we're going to stick them in here to make it go properly. Hey, do you know that so many people accept the free gift of Jesus and they open it up and they get super excited about it, but they don't know that there's more. There's power that comes with it that makes it much more exciting. And they sit in church and you know what? After a while, they get a bit bored of Jesus and they forget about the power that comes along with them. So tell me guys, what would you rather do? This? Woohoo! Or this? Doesn't it look like a whole lot more fun when you've got power, huh? I know I want the power so I can have this exciting, amazing experience following Jesus. And that's what we're going to be talking about over the next little while, is how God gives us the power, how the Holy Spirit comes and fills us up. And we get to follow Jesus like that, not just going you know what I'm saying? So, it says in Acts 1, verse 8, these are the words of Jesus himself. No, it's not someone else. Jesus himself says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, Samaria, and the ends of the earth. That's like, you'll be my witnesses at school, in your home, in your neighborhood. And the whole of Durban and the whole of the world, wherever you might be. Isn't that good news? When we're filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to do this, guys. We're going to risk it. Okay? I want you to close your eyes, put your hands out like you're receiving a, a gift from God. And right now, we're going to pray. And we're going to say, thank you, Father, for giving us the free gift of your son Jesus and now we want the power of your Holy Spirit so we can live like Jesus fill us up Holy Spirit give us power to live like Jesus Amen so guys, I'm going to challenge you every night this week, whether it's at the dining table, whether it's in your bed, when your parents are saying goodnight, I want you to pray that prayer. Thank you, Father, for the free gift of Jesus. And now we want the power of the Holy Spirit to come and fill us up so we can live like Him. Isn't that great news? And then let, let us know what happens. Let us know. All right? This is exciting stuff. So we'll see you next week. And I've got an exciting thing showing us the power of the Holy Spirit. Have a great week. Cheers.